perhaps we need to clarify that we're, when we're here to talk about the implications of the gospel, we're, we're, we're not here to just intellectualize. That's, that's not why we're here. Um, I, think, I think I can speak for Brother Given. I know that this, this, these meetings were his brainchild, and of course he has uh, influenced all of us and is a wonderful leader in the Lord. And, and you all know that Brother Given has a, he's a very intelligent man, and he's a thoughtful man. And I think maybe that uh, some people on the outside looking in think that, that we're just here because Brother Given wants to intellectualize about these things and we all kind of want to, you know, chip in or whatever and parse verbs and talk about Greek and the meaning of words. And that, well, the kingdom of God is not a matter of words but of power. We're, we're, not, we're, we're not here to just talk about things as... To, that's what they do in seminary. I know I went there for four years. I have a degree, okay? I know what they do. And, you know, you go to a scholarly conference and somebody gets up and reads a paper and everybody goes home. But that, that is absolutely not why we're here. You, and, you, and you don't have to be um, a Ph.D. or very educated or very intellectual. Now, you need to use whatever God's given you. Don't get me wrong. We're not putting a premium on being stupid uh, or lazy, if you have a mind, you need to use it. However, the, the, the gospel is not, it's, it's not about just, you know, intellectualizing. That's what, that's what worldly wise men do. That's what the philosophers do, and they don't get anywhere. And Paul said the gospel is not according to the wisdom of the world at all. So, so you don't have to be brilliant. You don't, you don't even have to be a, an old person, as you've seen today. <laughs> um very, very young people can grasp very profound, actually very profound things uh, about, about the gospel. So, so we don't put a premium on ignorance. We don't put a premium on thoughtlessness on one hand. On the other hand, we're not just here to, to throw out fancy words and intellectualize and write erudite um, sermons. And, and that's, that is not why we're here. We're not just here to be brainiacs, spiritual brainiacs. You can... You can, be, you can intellectualize yourself right into hell about Christian doctrine. It, it happens all the time. Uh, so I just want to clarify that, that we're, we're ultimately the reason why we're speaking about these things, again, to answer Aaron's question, is to strengthen our faith in these things. Because you have access to these things by faith. In fact, this is what Augustine said. Augustine said, I believe so that I may know. That's what comes first in the kingdom of God. Faith comes first, then understanding. So really what we're here to do is we're, we're, we're not here to be intellectual. Not, we're not here to just throw out big words. We're, we're here to strengthen one another's faith in these realities because when your faith, which is like a spiritual hand, lays hold of these things, then you will begin to understand them regardless of how old you are or how young you are or whether you're educated or not educated or whether you work with your hands or you sit behind a desk or, or whatever, that's, that's irrelevant in the kingdom of God. It's, it's faith. That's why we're talking about these things. We have to be able to, to grasp these things by faith. And so, and, and the word of, how does faith come? By hearing the word of God. That's all we're doing here. We're, we're not trying to be fancy. We're just, we're, we're just, we're talking about the Word of God. We're sharing the Word of God. We're expounding the Word of God and opening it up so that our faith can get a hold of it. And when that happens, that's where the power, that's where the power comes in. So.